Hi, Zach Pater here at River Valley Marina, River Valley Power and Sport in Red Wing, Minnesota. What a beautiful boat to take you through today. Highly customized and very, very nice. Yamaha 190 FSH Sport. If you are in the market for a center console and you've been considering a Yamaha jet boat and you like what they do, you like how they perform, you like their styling, you like all the features that go along with them, take a close look at this boat. I sold this boat brand new to the current owner. It's a 2018 and it has got a ton of upgrades, truly is in like new condition, actually almost better than new. Give you a quick walk around on the outside, you notice that nice big two-tiered swim platform, the boarding ladder, the beautiful uh, hull color there looks very sharp. Even notice the small things. Uh, that they did on the outside of this boat right down to their MN numbers being raised numbers with actual raised uh, outline for the MN sticker as well. The overall condition of the boat inside and outside is beautiful. The bottom of the boat is great. It does come with the trailer. Uh, it's got surge brakes, swing tongue, nice profile performance winch. One big feature that was done to this boat was the Minn Kota trolling motor, the uh, Altera. Very nice setup. Very expensive trolling motor, but really adds a lot to the boat. Notice the uh, nice fabric T-top there. Again, the outside of the boat is in very, very good condition. The pull-out cleats are very sharp. And we're going to take a look at a bunch of neat little features once we get inside the boat. So let's uh, jump on board and take a look. Before we go on board, you'll notice there is a ski tow eye back here. You also got a nice little cushioned backrest here for if you're just sitting out and enjoying the water. Alright, so now that we're up on the boat, I think one key feature is the way they did the flip back helm seat. It's great. Um, I ran one of these boats last year, fished out of it, played out of it, and it worked great in that backward facing seat whether I was trolling or I was just playing with the kids in the water uh, that backward facing seat was really a key feature simply flip it backwards and you got your standard forward facing seating you're gonna see a lot of little things this guy did to the boat one in particular 3000 watt amp and a bazooka sub that there is mounted where a cooler would normally mount The FSH also has these neat little flip-up seats. You have one on each side of the helm. On the back starboard side, there's actually a live well back here currently holding his fenders that will go with the boat. You'll also notice around the boat you've got some really nice cup holders and rod holders built right into the gun wall. Another kind of neat feature is on the gun wall it's all padded combing going around, so that's very nice. You also notice the rod holders tucked underneath as well. And with the T-top design, you actually have rod holders built right into the side, along with the stereo speakers and that hard uh, enclosure, or the uh, soft top enclosure, I should say, is very good condition, uh, just very well built. Take a quick glance at the dash while we're over this way. And I said there were a lot of upgrades. I think a big one would be the Hummingbird Helix 9. Uh, just a very sharp setup there. Got all the ram mounts for it, really done in a professional manner. Two cup holders up on the dash. You also have the nice flooring mat underneath uh, where you stand, similar to what's up on the dash. Easy to use switches, and then this does have the connects screen as well. Turn on the key, you can fire up the Connects dash. You can see the boat's got 29.2 hours on it, but that's a very nice feature here on the Yamaha. Other little key features, you got tilt steering, which is nice. Also have jet washdown, so when the engine is running, you can hit the jet washdown. There's a hose that would connect right back there in the corner, and you can have pressurized water. The boat also does have cruise assist or no wake up mode as well, so that's nice and convenient and easy to use. Stereo controls are easy to get to as well, right underneath your GPS unit, along with a nice grab handle. 
we'll keep working our way up to the bow of this boat where there's a ton of storage but more importantly it's just nice and it's deep you have a nice uh, padded seat here and then you have the seat in front of the console underneath this seat is a uh, changing room or a storage facility simply flip it up and you can see there's all sorts of room in there there's also a privacy curtain that can mount to the outside as we turn around and look at some of the front storage compartments you can see he's got uh, the anchors going with it here the battery for the trolling motor mounted underneath you also have another anchor locker up front that's got an anchor in it as well just a lot of nice organized storage you also notice little things like how all those struts are stainless steel struts in this boat uh, really giving it uh, kind of a high-end offshore feel underneath the forward cushion you do have a nice area that can actually be a cooler fully drainable and fully lined and as we look past that you can get a little more of a detail on that Minn Kota Altera very good looking setup there nice big foot controls just a great overall addition to this 190 FSH all right before I wrap up this video I really wanted to show you the full custom canvas it is the Yamaha full cover which is very nice very expensive cover for this boat but what's even neater yet is since he put the trolling motor on he had a custom canvas guy go through and actually cut out the mount for the trolling motor um, the only downfall is that I do not believe the trolling motor can be on or mounted on the boat when you put the cover on it don't think it'll fit over it like that but at the end of the day just a, a great setup and a beautiful cover for this boat so that there is a quick video walk around to this Yamaha 190 a boat that truly should not disappoint cosmetically mechanically or the upgrades again my name here Zach Pater at River Valley Marina River Valley Power and Sport in Red Wing, Minnesota, and I do appreciate you taking the time to view our video. Please call, text, or email with any questions or to set up a time to view. Thanks again and have a great day.